Hi everybody, my name is Kasha McDaniel with Blue Diamond Staging and today we're going to talk to you about how to stage a bookcase. So this is my demo back here with the bookcase. Um, some of you have met, I have met before, some of you may have not. My name is Kasha and there is no H in there, I do get that a lot. Um, if you've heard of Katya in Russian, Kasha is Polish for Kate, which is short for Catherine. So, I've gotten a lot of you know people trying to say my name, and I get that. Don't worry, it's not a big deal. Uh, but just so you know, my friends and family call me Kasha, um, and I can actually kind of help screen phone calls that way when telemarketers come calling because when they look for Catherine McDaniel, I'm like, oh, I don't know you, and you don't know me, so click. <laughs> but just so you know, that's how you pronounce my name. And like I said, today we're going to talk about um, how to stage a bookcase. Um, and some of the reasons I'll go over and then kind of show you what I'm going to do with it. But if you are joining me, I'd love for you to say hi. You know, I'd love to see uh, see you on there. If you're watching this as a replay, I'll be posting this later. I'd love for you to type in replay and let me know if you have any questions or comments. Okay? So, um, let me start off with why you'd want to stage a bookcase. and. Basically, the bookcase is probably going to be in a room like a living room, maybe even a bedroom, a playroom, something like that. And if the other room is already staged, you've you know taken out the clutter, you've moved some furniture around, all that's left is now the bookcase. It is a little too full um, and it's distracting, so it can be considered clutter. Um, and you want to not deter from the whole picture of the room when your photographer is in there taking pictures for your listing, right? Um, and it's going to be part of the room, so you want it to be cohesive, right? And that's what we're trying to do, is to make it all work together. Uh, and I kind of equate it to when you're going out on a date, right? You get ready, you do your hair, you pick out your outfit, you know, but then you show up in fuzzy slippers, right? Uh, that's not quite where we're trying to get at, right? You want the whole thing to be all work it together, right? So yeah, so as you go through the bookcase, you might find that some of the things you may not read anymore or your kids have outgrown the small books, board books, things like that. So that will help you dwindle down some of your you know, collection as well. Um, either you know you wanna keep it or you may decide, you know what, um, I'm gonna donate this. So it gives you a way to get a head start on the moving um, because you're gonna be moving anyway, right? Okay. So we're gonna do this in sections. I'm gonna show you a couple of things. Um, so first off, what you may see are a couple of pictures. Um, I have covered them up, some of them with little stickers and things so you can't see them, uh, the faces. So I'm just gonna start taking those down just to get started. And this is mainly due um, because buyers don't wanna see who lives in the house. They just wanna imagine themselves living in the house. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take down all the pictures. I'm gonna set them aside. Um, I think that's it there. Um, and then what I'm going to tell you is you're going to remove about half the books off the shelves, okay, just in general, because there is way too much here. And as you can see down here on the bottom, there's a lot of kids' books here um, that try to be wrangled up in a little basket down here, uh, but it's just too much stuff. And especially if you do have kids, um, it's just so much easier just to dwindle down and let them have them their choices slim down so they don't create the mess that you're gonna be facing when it comes time to another buyer coming through your home. It's just easier to clean up. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take out a lot of these books here um, and just start stacking them. Later on, you can go through with them and figure out which ones you want to keep, which ones are not gonna you know, make the cut. So we're just gonna empty this out. There's a lot here, as you can tell. <laughs> All right, so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make this a little bit easier for those of you who do have kids and do have all these books to go through. Um, to make it easier on the parents later on, what I tend to do is, um, for them, is use baskets. You know, using the colors in the room. Um, I'm gonna start, like I said, I'm gonna start with the bottom. You can use um, fun little basket, something with some color, right? That you can put in there and then, and just throw them in there because it's like organized chaos, right? When you throw things in a cap in a basket, 
you don't see it, but it's in front of everybody, right? But it's it's hidden in there. So, like I said, we're gonna remove these. And then I'm just gonna pick a couple of books that we're just gonna put in here. So I have, I actually have two of these baskets here. So we're just gonna make it a little more fun. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick a couple of things and we're just gonna set them inside, okay? So we're gonna find some books, ones that your kids may want to, to read through, and we're just gonna fill them up in here and use those. We'll take some of these that are up on the second shelf and start going through those. And right now I'm not going through them to you know pick and choose which ones, but you can do that later as you as you go through. Okay. So Heavy books here too. Yeah. All right. So we'll just take those down for right now. So we've got the first shelf. You can actually kind of turn them whatever best fits in the space. And then you can kind of do it like that. You can kind of fit in there. And like I said organized chaos and it makes it easier for you to clean up after your kids, right? Okay, so the second shelf, um, there's another mishmash of kids' books here too. And with these, if you notice, I have a whole collection here of the little golden books. You may not be able to see it, but they're, you know, a collection of them, right? So if your kids like those and as that those fall down, right? You notice that too, right? You can use something else too help pop them up. You can kind of change them up a little bit. And at this point is when you kind of play with it and kind of step back and see how it looks. Definitely as you go through your bookshelf, you'll want to take a step back each and every time you go through a shelf, just kind of see how it looks. Um, so you got to consider the colors in the room as you're going through this. If you notice, this is a more of an orange kind of a, a bookcase. If you have a white one, you're going to put different things in there. So in my case, because this is darker, you'd want to put lighter color things in there. And then you'll also want to take into consideration the colors in the room. So the room in here has green, blue, and orange colors in here. So that's kind of what I'm going to be focusing on to use those colors to kind of open up the space, make it a little bit brighter and, um, and help create and stage the bookcase. Okay. So I'm going to be using, um, I can use some other books here if I go through the stack of the ones that I've taken out. You know, you can find some hard covered books. Um, this pink one doesn't quite go with, you know, what we're trying to go for here. So I may do something that some readers may go, oh my gosh, you're changing my books around. And I get it. If you have the OCD with that, I totally get it. Um, but yes, it's only temporary. Staging is only temporary. So we're going to just change it up a little bit and use some of the colors of the books to help create the space. You can also use other things in the face. It doesn't have to be books. It can be paintings. It can be vases. It can be, you know, candle holders, you know, those types of things. So it doesn't always have to be books. Just create some breathing room. That's basically what we're trying to do. So um, you can use paintings like this one's a painting. Okay. So you can use this to help create, you know, this one may be a little bit too, we'll see, we can put it there for now and then we can use a book and then just like how those are standing up, we can have these a few hardcover books standing up as well and just work with that, what we've got there. So let's see, I'm going to try and find some darker, some books here. You can also just stack them like this just to give them some visual interest okay so you've got you know up down side to side and actually because that one's standing up we're going to make this one go up and down kind of like what those are okay so you do have to step back a little bit see how it works you know i'm going to try and find some blue books here for right now as we go through here um and go, so yeah, kind of a reddish. Even though the cover is blue, you know, it's, it's 
doesn't really quite go. So we'll kind of leave that for right now, just like those two shelves. So just those two things will help create the space that you're looking for. Okay, so going on to this next shelf, these are more adult books and more hardcovers. And just like when you look, if you've gone to a bookstore, you'll notice that you'll, you'll see the spine, so you'll see them facing this way. But sometimes they'll change it up and you'll want to see the artistry on the front cover, you know? So if you want to see something like that, that one's not anything, anything interesting. But if there was an art book um, that you may have, something like this, you know, an art, you know, has pottery or something like that, whatever the topic may be, you know, it's something that can be, you know, put there. This one's a little bit too big. It doesn't fight, quite fit there, but you get the idea. If there's something that has a really nice cover, just give it some interest. That's basically what we're looking for, okay? So here I'm going to go again through here and start picking books that have the same color scheme like the blues and work with what I have to create just a more interesting bookcase and kind of fill out the space. So again, I'm going to be mixing up authors. <laughs> That's not going to be all the same. Um, you can, if you, there are certain ones that you like, you can have a bunch of them for the same author right here in the middle. And then again, have the rest kind of, you know, laying down like that and then take these out. So again, we're just trying to break up the monotony of seeing, you know, all these book spines. Okay. You see where I'm going with that? Okay. So now we kind of step back. We're like, yep, that looks good. Now, if you'll notice, I have, there's this little teddy bear here, okay? Anything military related, I would probably take down and recommend taking those things down. Because uh, again, you don't want to stereotype anything. Um, so this little bear has got to go. Um, this statue, again, um, you can use different statues. I just wouldn't stick with anything like the I love me walls that sometimes you'll see in the military, you know? So I would take those down. Um, this one, while it's a really cool piece, it's a little cannon. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer to you. And it's a really cool piece, but you can't see it on this dark um, uh, background. So we'll just remove it for now. There's a lost earring. There's always some junk that you're probably gonna find on the bookshelf later on going, oh wait, that's where that went. Um, so again, like we talked about, you know, we're trying to go with the colors that are here. So I'd probably get rid of these red ones here for now. And these, I may just use some other props in the space to kind of help fill it. So if you have a fake plant, maybe, you can kind of do something like that. You know, again, give it some interest in the space. And here I have a mix of some other books. We'll make these stand, you know, you can kind of do that. You know, you can also have another, let's see, we put that there. No, it doesn't quite work out. But you can put this here, kind of help make the eye travel a little bit better, okay? So play with it. Step, step around it, take a look and, and see what it is. But already, you can't see the pile of books here in front of me, but there's already a lot. So at least half the stuff has already been taken out, okay? So again, you'll wanna see and go through it and pick which ones you actually wanna keep, okay? Um, here I have a little Pooh Bear, so that could be another fun thing you can use in the kids area. You can actually maybe even put it down here, you know, little rocking chair with Winnie the Pooh. Um, and then now I'm up to the next shelf with some more paperbacks. So again, we're trying to, you can, like I said before, you can have like in the bookstore, where they have, some of them are facing front because of the cover is kind of cool. So I'm gonna see if I can find one that you don't have to use. Um, like this one's Pride and Prejudice. You know, it's a nice background. It's something lighter colored, you can do that. Um, and then just have the books behind it and help prop it up, okay? Um, same thing, these, well these are red. I may just change those out to be more of the gold color. Let's see what I can find. These are all reds, reds. They don't quite go with the colors in here. So I'm just gonna take those out. And 
then let's see if we do some black that'll be fine I'm gonna take these out and then again you can still put something with the color you know again something to give it a little more interest you know I saw I put a little blue candle here okay so as you see there's where we've already made a significant um, dent in this bookcase here to show you what you can do um, and let me just work on this last shelf up here and up here if you notice I don't know if you can tell because it's kind of a white background this is actually a photo album a, our wedding album so I would definitely take this down put this away I'm probably sure it has a lot of memories in there for you so I would just remove this as well and that way you can work and put stuff put something else there in this place okay so I have these little these cute little elephants they kind of you can kind of see them against the background so you can still do that um, I may put them kind of up here you know so if there's just to kind of show what you can do so again this is a really full bookcase or bookshelf up here again I'm just gonna find and pick and choose which ones to just cut out so I like this orange one here So if we pick some, maybe some whiter covers, those like you can see will stand out more. So and if there's like, this one has a, you know, people running away or, you know, I'm trying to find something that has a little more interesting kind of a cover, maybe this blue with the, um, on that cover here. So what we can do is, We'll stack them up here and then we can kind of have it standing there. So what we can actually use this as like a bookend too. Okay. So let me take this out. Got a couple of these. I'm running out of space down here on the floor. Um, but like I said, you can kind of do even something like that. You can even do, let's see, if you change it around a bit, kind of play with it, see how that works. This one, this one just peeking out, that's just a little bit too much there. Here we've got some interest in going, you know, like I said, let's just change this around. See how this looks as like a bookend, okay? And then if you want, you can still put, you know, another, something with some color right there, okay? And on the top shelf, you can put other decorative things, other books if you want. Um, I'm going to use something, you know, with a little more color and contrast, kind of like a vase. You can do that. Um, I have another vase that, again, just has more color, adds more height because this is a tall bookcase. So you can do this, too. And let's see. Normally, I try and decorate in threes. So it can be like a book even if there's a cool cover that you have um it could be even let's see this one has more of an orange kind of a color it could be you know something like this if this is a book but i would i would do is i would actually kind of give it some height down here, up here so that you actually see it so that is what a staged bookcase can look like. Um, so as you can see, it didn't take me very long to do it. You do have to kind of play with it and see what works best. Um, like I did, so basically I've removed all the pictures. I've taken at least half the books off the shelf. Um, I start with the bottom. You can start anywhere you like, really. You know, kind of if you have kids' books and the kids are going to be using them, their books a lot, 
and going through them for bedtime stories and things, it's easier just to corral them in some really cute little bins, okay? Just make sure it's with the colors and everything like that. Um, consider the colors in the room. If it's gonna be, you know, if your colors in your room are more greens and blues or greens and browns, you know, kind of use those to help you decide what things you can find. Some of these um, vases and things like that, you probably have sitting around your home and maybe just extras, right? Whether it's on a shelf somewhere or on a countertop, uh, walk around the house and you, you'll be surprised how many little things you'll find that you can help decorate and uh, make your bookcase a little more interesting, okay? Um, use those, those types of things, like the, I said, the vases, pictures, things like that. Stand the books in different directions. Like I said, I have a couple on the side, you know, some laying down. Use things to put on top of them. Give it just something, kind of a flow, basically, whether it's top to bottom, kind of to help you go through and decide what works best. Um, and like I said, I know this may be a hard thing for some people when they have their books and their collections a certain way by author or by genre. Um, it will, I will change it on you if I'm there visiting your house. Um, I will change it up a little bit and just to kind of make it more visually um, stimulating basically and not be considered a clutter in your space. Um, so at this time, I'm going to see, this is my very first Facebook Live session, so I'm going to try and see if I can figure out how to ask, see if I can ask questions. Um, I don't know, let's see if anybody's on. I have one person on there, but I don't know if I can see the comments. Are there any questions that you may have? I'm trying to figure out if you can type anything. Or if it doesn't work out and you can't type it, I can always answer the question later. Um, but this is just what an example of a bookcase can look like um, when you're staging it. So I hope you got a good, some good side ideas on what you can do to get your bookcase ready to go. Again, it can be in the library, the living room, your bedroom. If you have bookcases like this, there's so many different ways that you can make it look so much more appealing and then create the whole picture for your Picture Perfect debut. So I thank you very much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again soon in another Facebook Live session. Have a great day.